This AI tool has one really interesting concept. You're getting your own AI employees. So we have here our whole AI engineering team. We have Alex the engineer, Bob the architect, Mike the team leader, and David the data analyst. And that team can build mobile prototypes like this, entire dashboards using technologies that we tell them to use, and we can also use 3JS to create some cool animations like this, video games, or whatever we tell our AI team to create. Awesome thing is that this project is actually open source. It has 55,000 stars, which is really impressive. And we could also contribute to this project. This app was number one product of the week on Product Hunt, and it is called MGX. And there is actually a free version of this application. As you can see, I'm using the free plan with which you have 750 credits per day, 2.5 million credits per month, and maximum five user messages per chat, which I think is enough. And without further ado, let's build something. Me being me, I'm going to build a modern dashboard using Shetian components. It should include a sidebar for navigation, a section with statistic cards to display key metrics, and a chart to visualize data trends. So let's see what this AI team has for us. And we are now creating our dashboard. Cool thing is that you can see here all your team members communicating all the time. So now our team leader is thinking, so he is putting in a better prompt instead of us. So I placed just a simple small prompt, but he created much bigger prompt and He's showcasing these features to Alex. Who is Alex? Alex is our engineer. So he is now following what Mike said to him and he's building our dashboard. As we can see here, it's using ShedCN. It created here a sidebar. That's probably our local app sidebar, which he wants to put in on our page. Then here we have the stats cards. So he's using for everything react and that is good maybe i should have told him to use next.js but this one is also fine we just need a regular looking dashboard so now alex is here creating everything and we have here congratulations and if we are fully satisfied we can even deploy directly from here so let's see how is it looking here is our dashboard and we already have here the live URL. So I'm going to that one to check how is it looking. And it looks like a classic ShedCN dashboard. It looks nice, but let's see if the code is good enough. So we are getting back to Alex, our engineer, and here we are clicking on these arrows and we can see our code. So let's see what did he use and how. So here we can see that he's using an accordion, alert dialog, alert, aspect ratio, avatar, badge, breadcrumbs, button. Is this really necessary? He's then using charts, checkbox. Let's see what do we have actually on this. Maybe these links, no, they are not working. I don't see any checkboxes or anything. I think that he used too many ShedCN components. Yeah, he's definitely not, not using carousel and avatar and things like that so this is not good alex this is not good we have to tell you to remove all the components that are not used but let's see here the chart dashboard so we are uh, so he is using the dashboard here creating an interface okay at least good thing is that alex used typescript i like that he's not using regular clean javascript and this one is looking okay so I would say that only thing is that he's using too many components. He just probably inserted all the components that exist in ShedCN and he's just using them. So let's tell him to remove that. So we can now tag him here. So let's say, Alex, what's going on, man? Remove all the ShedCN components that are not used in the project. And let's see what is he going to say. Alex is thinking and he's probably going to say something smart like, oh, I thought that we need that or something like that. So now he's checking here. You can see the terminal. 
select and everything. Okay, so Alex said I have removed all unused shared CNUA components and all other UA components can be removed. Okay, the dashboard functionality remains unchanged, but the project is now more lightweight. That's basically what we needed. If we go to the new URL, we can see that we have exactly the same thing. Okay, great. So let's try other team members to see what they can do. So we have here Bob, who is our architect, and he's not doing anything. So let's make him active. Bob, make sure the project architecture is okay. Let's see what is he going to say. So now Bob is thinking. Okay, so here is Bob. He's going to review the current architecture and he's going to review structure and organization, component design. He's going to follow atomic design pattern. This is really nice. State management, react query for server state, okay. Then performance considerations, code splitting, lazy loading, data flow, more oh, really nice security, JWT authentication, protected routes, then testing strategy. Is he really going to implement just for unit tests and React testing library? I'd like to see this. And dependencies, minimal use of Shetian components, essential libraries. I mean, this one looks really nice. Even error handling, like global error boundary, loading states, type definitions. This is awesome. And what we need to do now, the architecture is solid. And would you like me to implement? Yes, Bob, please implement these improvements. Bob, implement these improvements. Let's say, please. So AI is going to save me when the apocalypse starts okay so i fast forwarded this because bob was a little bit slow but he did a really great job he even created the documentation mermaid files with diagrams what is actually happening in our app then we also have the documentation for the entire application and he added all the things that he said he's going to add so bob <laughs> i really like bob more than alex i must say he is really thorough and he knows he has entire project as context. And as you can see now, we used five messages per chat, but we can go and remix our app. So we remixed now everything and let's try and ask Emma to do something. Emma, do something <laughs> just like that. Let's see what is she going to say. So Emma created for us this MDX file and it has a bunch of things for improvement. So we have product goals. What are our goals of our product? Then we have user stories, then key competitors for our product, then competitive positioning. It's really interesting. So now we can actually use this file and tell, tell Alex, our engineer, to build by Emma's recommendations. I would say MGX project is really worth checking out. You can come to the mgx.dev and also check all the other projects that people were working on. And there are some really cool projects that you can check out here. Come and try it out. I mean, it's free. You can try it out just for fun. For me, it was really an interesting way to create something using that AI team because I'm always thinking as an engineer, I'm always missing that other side like product owners and things like that. So this is maybe something good to learn like what you need to do for your projects. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe.